Is it morning? Uh, I don't think it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Chanted Rock State Park, excuse me, state natural area. There's no RV camping here, so you gotta come with a tent. You can do primitive camping, hike up into the trails a couple miles back. They've got some outhouses there for you if you need them. We came in December because we knew it would be cooler, and it did not disappoint. It was in the 30s this morning. I was frozen. Thankfully, our buddy heater works well. Little odd note, I guess it was on the website and we didn't catch it. They have a water shortage right now. This is December 2020. They close the bathrooms and only open them from five to nine at night for people that want to take showers. Otherwise, everybody has to use porta potties. Hand soap is available at Enchanted Rock. They've got the little push to start and it's got a timer on the water. No paper towels. They've got an air dryer. There is a heater up there. I'm not sure what kicks it on. I haven't found a switch for it. We got a place to sit down. So there's no hooks of any kind, but plenty of surface area to sit on or set your items on, especially like out here. So the bathrooms here have water fountains that have the bottle refill. Probably shut off right now because of the water shortage in the area. They're also under a burn ban while we were here, so sorry y'all. No campfire for this video. So this park has a mix of camp styles. You've got some that are actually really cool down here more at the base of the rocks in the trees. As you can see a little path coming right off the loop trail here. And then you've got quite a few like where we've got where it's more out in the open towards the bathroom. Most of our campsites are like this where they've got this really nice covered area for the picnic table. But then I did notice this one over here on the edge. It doesn't have a covering. It's got some shade. We'll take a look real quick at one that's empty. You can see they've got a pad for your tent on the ground fire ring, which you can't use right now. Single hook, single hook up here for a lantern. And then you've got, I like that, a blocking right there. And it's all at an angle, nice big wood beams. You can see another campsite there. And there's actually another one without a covering way back there in the trees as well as there's another one over there that has no covering. Here's our camp, our trusty instant up tent. Got that 20 pound propane tank out there as Mr. Buddy's inside warming everybody up. No fire set up. We do have our solar lights out. Oh, I need to turn those off. Turned them on this morning as I was getting ready. You don't have water at every campsite here. You have them out here by the parking lot, shared spigots. And even though there is a water shortage, obviously a frozen burst pipe is no good either. So they have a little note right here that says, please don't turn off the water and please make sure it's dripping. There's also a playground in the middle, which they've fenced off, I'm assuming because of Corona. There are a few dumpsters throughout, so you don't have to take your trash back out with you. Never thought of that before until we got to Kickapoo Caverns and you had to take your trash with you because they can't get service for the dumpsters because they're so remote. So down here in the trees you can see a few roofs for there's some camping in the trees which are then right at the base of these giant rocks. We didn't see any coyotes but we heard a lot of coyotes last night really early this morning. Kalen said they sounded like hyenas. They were going off. I mean, they were really, what do you call them? Laughing, heckling, cackling. It was loud. I don't think it was in the camp though. It was just nearby. There's a lot of cattle in this area. Just now as the sun came up, as I was filming the sunrise, I could hear cows mooing on the backside of the hill. Mountain, rock. Hill, mountain, rock.
There is a nice mix of foliage out here. There's definitely some trees that have already changed colors and lost their leaves. Some that are currently in December. Still a nice color, gold or red. And then still a lot of oak trees like you see behind me that oak trees just, they don't ever really turn colors. Seems like right around March when they're gonna get new leaves, it just kills off the old leaves and pushes out the new leaves. So there's a decent amount of picnic tables in the day use area. Not all of them have stand up barbecue pits, but a few do. Normally there are bathrooms, which I mean you can see there are bathrooms at the end over here. But they're only open from 5 until 9 p.m. as they have a water shortage in the area. Some of the picnic areas here in the day use area actually have double tables for larger groups. I don't see any barbecue pits that are really big or anything like that. They're all normal size. If you need a water, then you go for the top one. If you need a carrot kit. First aid kit? If you need the first aid kit, then you go for the tiny one. And... Okay. Thanks, Kayla. Echo Canyon is uh, a bit of a difficult hike. I'm starving. If you like to go hiking with your dog, they only allow the dogs on the loop trail. They do not allow dogs to go up to the summit or on any of the other trails. So if you want to hike everything, don't bring your dog, okay? Poor Daisy. 